All right, all right. <clears throat> so, quick update for y'all. Uh, the build is mostly finished. It has to get some fine tuning done, but the build is mostly finished. Uh, I have a little bit of sulfite. I want to see if I can do a node for you guys real quick. Um, Path of Math, help craft the wands. These things are insane. Wait, do I have any? No. Um, yeah, so, wands are nuts. Build is basically done. Fully shaped. Took off the jewels or the sockets. It just looks a whole lot better now that I'm comfortable with the build. Uh, I want to kind of run some, uh, what's that, uh, Verici... Uh, June missions to see if I can just triple white socket almost all these pieces. I would love to have three here, three here, three here, three here. Can't do the chest, it's double corrupted, but plus two of socketed origin is making my hatred 23, um, wrath 24, zelge 23. Helps a little bit, not a ton. I think it was like, like a 2%, 3% DPS increase, something small. But it was nice, it was only like 6x, so I took it. Uh, to show you what I need to upgrade. So in my tree, like this one, crit chance, crit multi, crit multi, crit multi. Pretty good. But then you have ones like, oh, this one's great. The crit multi with cold skills. Don't do cold skills. So it's triple crit multi with uh, spell damage dual building. So that's nice. And then this one, this is the one. No, it's not this one. It's this one right here. Like this. Cold damage, good. I do cold damage. That's fine. But in global accuracy... So I want to see if I can remove that global accuracy as an attack and then aug crit. Let's see if we can get crit multi uh, to elemental skills or maybe aug cast. I'm not sure which one that would be. Is that, is that on this one? Yeah, it's an elemental. I don't think we can. I'm not sure if you can aug elemental. I don't know. But let's see if I can make this jewel a little better. And then uh, this corrupted blood is okay. It's just got increased damage and then a crit multi. So I'll hopefully want to get, like best case scenarios, I get Corrupted Blood, you know, on a Militant Faith that has Inner Conviction or, you know, somewhere else or, or one of my medium clusters. It's, it's going to be tough to find. It's going to be expensive, but the thing is, is these quad, triple and quad multi jewels just give me so much damn damage. Like this one's crit chance, crit multi, crit multi, crit multi. Like putting another one of those here and here will be a pretty substantial increase. Uh, and DPS. And then... Maybe fine-tune some things on the tree. I'm happy with the level I'm at, 97. I would love to get another minus 1% mana reserved. I think if I get another 1%, that might bring me up over 200 mana, then I could drop the charisma, even though this is 8%. It's a lot. But being able to drop that uh, would be huge. I also want to see something. What happens if I go this way? Oh god. Yeah, we can't really... Yeah, 79 mana's cut, not, cut a little close. That only gonna be one point. Well, can't do that. But yeah, would love to be able to drop this, and then grab, you know, another point. But let's do a node real quick. Tree's good. It's just a magma fissure, AOE, bloodline mod. Even with Bloodline and AoE, it's just, at this depth, it's just pretty smooth. I'll have the top up, but Human Fissure, there's one. Yeah, the build is, it's just, it's just fun, guys. Uh, I definitely, if this stays together, I would love to do this again next league, even though I don't think it's going to work unless we get targetable crafts. These wands were pretty fucking ridiculous. Uh... Tier 1, Tier 2 Crypt Multi, everything else is insane. Tier 2 Caspian on this one, everything else is great. Look at this, Divines, Max Divines on both of them. 
I mean, that's a wand right there. I need to divine some of the rest of my gear. Get a little more mana reservation on this one. But yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. You know, like, subscribe, all that cool YouTube stuff. And then the next thing I'm working on is a mapper that I might also do some more shallow delving on, probably in the eight 900 range, uh, which is the Int Stacking Power Siphon Kinetic Blast. I'm doing a little variation on it. Uh, Mothra, who's also a Twitch streamer, has been kind of giving me some tips on it. So I'm going to try and work on that with the rest of my currency that I have now. I've already dumped a lot into him. I bought like a 15x Watcher's Eye. 11x helm uh it's just we're really putting in some money into it but i want to get it to work i really want to have a mapper that is fun to play that is fast that is not like a free you know you can just go play an op build and everything's free and easy right i, I like kind of working for some stuff and i really like the play style of you know kv power siphon because it just looks so good and here, here's the builder now i'll give you a little sneak peek of it so let's see so 10k ES so far. We'll get a little more. It's Envy Stacks Intelligence sitting on almost 1200 int. Uh, crafted this wand myself with the help of some friends. Uh, we got the lightning damage, attacks, penetrate, lightning res, which I'm going to divine that up to get max roll. Uh, increased spell damage, non-chaos, extra chaos. Attack speed, which is mineral. Yeah, I need to divine this thing. And then this helm we just bought, but we're trying to get the defense rolls better on it. It got tier 5, tier 4. Where I'm try I would love tier 2s and up at least to get well over 300 ES on the helm, and then tier one int, per, tier one percent int, minus lightning res and fire. We might fix the defense rolls, that I might list this for like 15X, see if I can get it to sell back. And if it does sell, then I'll buy a new power siphon fire special projectiles and do warlord hunter, and then combine plus one power charge with the percent int, uh, and drop the minus lightning res, and see if that gets us more damage. I got a POB it too, which is a little bit better. I uh, picked up this amulet. Uh, it's got some res on it. Uh, percent int. I need to max that out. Uh, percent attributes. Again, you need to divine. Crafted energy shield. Damage penetrates Ellie res. You need to divine. And then attacks increase Ellie. Um, I believe there's another mod I can get on here for attributes, but I'm pretty happy with this. Allocated tranquility. Tranquility is increases in energy shield. Also do increases in spell damage at 30% of their value. Uh, this is not the shield I'm actually wearing. This is an at series reflection. And then pick these boots up. These are like 3x, which is insane how cheap these were. They just kind of have a shitty int roll. So I'll grab upgrades in the future. I want to get tier 1 int, tier 1 move speed, uh, extra or projectiles pierce, two extra targets, tailwind. That's really all I need. And then the ES and res will, will aug on. Headhunter. I do want to get another belt, unfortunately. I can't wear the Axiom, or Oxium, however you say it, because of uh, Dexterity and Strength on this one. Strength's just down by one point, though, so I could probably pick it up on a Divine. But to get Dexterity, I'm most likely to level and just grab a quick Dex node and then call it a day. But uh, running uh, Wrath, Precision, Clarity, and Discipline. And then we picked up a Watcher's Eye, which is here. Um, gain 50% maximum mana, extra maximum energy shield. I don't think that's a max roll. What's max roll on that? It won't let me see it. Pull it out so I can see it. Max roll is 18, and then 60% increase. Light. Yeah, this is terrible. So I got to divide that up. Running energy from not. I was running this cluster, which I picked up from MB Extreme, which is nice. This gives all res while holding a shield. Attributes, and then 60% increased defenses. I need to uh, compare this versus vengeful and then something else but if i drop that then i i will desperately need resistances so i don't know if i'll be able to get the build to work unless i grab resistances somewhere else in the build thread of hope lets me grab a few points if i get some extra points i'm gonna grab this uh harry right here just for increased moves be attack speed and then what else we got oh yeah i picked this up yesterday my friend linked me this jewel Implicit crit multi, crit multi, crit multi, crit multi, and then uh, maximum energy shield. I may get the energy shield off and try something else. My, my skills aren't lightning skills, which kind of sucks, uh, but this would be good for my uh, penance brand build. So we can remove the energy shield and then aug um, 
crit multi to elemental, that would be like a 25x jewel. But yeah, it's fun. It's really, really fun. Low on I gotta go top up some, uh, some soul fights so and keep delving today. But I appreciate you guys hanging out in the videos, uh, asking me questions, liking them. Come by the stream, twitch.tv.enviously. I'll be streaming this afternoon, uh, this evening, whatever. And uh, if you all have any questions, hit me up. I'll try and get this build finished up. I'm going to take it as far as I can and then work on the jewels on the Penance brand and probably be done with builds for the league. And uh, yeah, so thanks, guys. See you all soon.